Hey, what's happening, guys? Nikki here. Just, uh, just walking away from Victoria Park Supper Station, and this is Victoria Park Avenue, also known as VP Avenue, and this divides East York and Scarborough. However, I actually know what turns into North York, but it's a little bit, but I am hoping to end my video somewhere around there. It's called Holland Avenue. So I'm not, I think it's a little bit closer to Lawrence. But anyhow, since I'm walking on the east side of Victoria Park Avenue, I'm in Scarborough, but the other side is East York. The funny thing is though, East York kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because the boundary actually goes towards Victoria Park and Danforth, but it usually doesn't go that far south. In fact, the only station that is in East York is Woodbine, and that's because the East York boundary cuts into Woodbine and Danforth, but it's usually north. Yeah, that's the thing. When you're talking about North York, East York, and York boroughs, well, Old Toronto as well, the boundaries can have a real toying to them. So anyhow, this is a very major street. It goes all the way towards Steeles. And yeah, and then Scarborough used to be its own city. So it, but then it amalgamated. Uh, I think it was might have been around 40 years ago. I think I know it was in the 20th century when it amalgamated. Okay, I think maybe we can cross there. That will that way I'll be walking on walking in East York instead of Scarborough. But I think it's very important for me to do a walking video here because it's very major. It's a very major street. It says here, East York, East Toronto Family Resources. So yeah, now I'm in the East York Borough. Now, just as a, just before I started filming, started doing my vlog here, my walking video, I actually went, in, went into the forest. Well, actually, there's actually a bridge that goes, there's an overpass bridge, pedestrian bridge that goes on top of the subway tracks. And that's where I filmed the subway trains. And then I did some nature fanning as well. I shot some clips for my monthly compilation video. Both transit and both nature clips. Whoa, it's a little windy today. The wind is not, it's not that bad, but it is a little breezy. And today is supposed to be a cooler to low seasonal day. The temperature is currently 18 degrees centigrade. They say the daytime high is gonna be 19, but anytime we see daytime highs below 20 in August, we always think of a cold front. It's a nice forest down there. But yeah, there is some, you know, I was kind of thinking maybe I should, you know how a couple times I was walking between Victoria Park and Warden? One of them I was walking the, ooh. There's, there's even an entrance to the trail down there. Hmm. I'm, I, I'm a little tempted to go in there, but uh, I kind of want to walk along Victoria Park Avenue as well. Maybe I'll drop in there some other time, but I'll definitely have to drop into there, into the valley down there. But yeah, I mean, when I was, one of them included me walking the dog, and then six months later, I went there again, but I was walking in the opposite direction, now, and I was strictly walking through the woods, but, it was only the nature, the, the like the beaten trail, right? The public hiking trails where you can ride your bikes. But I know there are some, if you go in the woods, there are pathways that kind of lead, lead everywhere. So there's a pathway, there are pathways in the woods 
And yeah, you're taking a hike in the woods and you're listening to the sound of the subway train at the same time. Which I find is pretty cool. Now over there is a golf course. Yeah, you can see the trail down there. Like you can see it, I mean, you can see a pathway. Yeah, I would go in there, but I also wanna, you know, I don't, I've never really walked along Victoria Park Avenue before. I know I've driven along Victoria Park Avenue at one time, but it's pretty important, so I should probably stick to my itinerary, stick to, stick to the plans. Okay, somebody got to cut this tree off. It looks kind of awkward having the tree hanging over the, falling into the, falling over the, um, the pickup truck. Also, I think I saw someone in there who might have had a heart, heart attack. Oh, okay, so this is Taylor Creek Park. That's good to know. Yeah, I've, heard, I've definitely heard of Taylor Creek Park before. It kind of leads into the Don Valley. Yeah, a lot of our parks and a lot of our hiking trails kind of around here sort of lead to the Lower Don River or Lower Don Valley parklands, right? They, they land into the Don Valley parklands. But it's just so overwhelming because there are so many paths to go. They kind of like go everywhere. I think if I wanted to hike towards the Don Valley parklands, I should probably start right around here. Of course, somebody already painted graffiti on it. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, temporary partial trail closure. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, thanks for letting me know. I wasn't planning to go there anyways. Look at that. We've got some green space there. Yeah, maybe when I maybe I have a lot of have a little bit of time, I'll just check it out. Obviously, this is private property. Well, I'm not in private property, but there are basically backyards that have doors that lead right to here. I guess you could say I'm sort of in the woods right now. Look at that, what do we have here? Right, now I'm really in the woods. Yeah, I was just in the woods on the opposite side. And here I am now. Well, looks like people have built a teepee, or maybe a thunderstorm did that. Okay, I think you, you, you might be able to see the path from here, maybe not. I guess not because there's too many trees in the way. You probably get a better view in the winter time when there are no leaves on the tree. Because when there are leaves, your view can be obstructed. Okay, that's that does not look safe, so I'm going to go back the way I came. I mean, I probably could go that way, but then I'd have to duck and dive a lot. I mean, it's part of being a nature enthusiast, right? You have to do a lot of ducking. Sometimes you have to get really low. I know I've done that before when filming some compilation videos. Okay, so this way it leads me out. That does not look like a bad place to live, I must say. Only thing is though, you don't really wanna, it's not ideal to live too close to the street, too close to traffic, cause then there's too much noise. Ooh, somebody has a swim, okay, I'm not gonna point their, I'm not gonna point my camera, but I do see somebody has a swimming pool in their backyard. There's two houses that have swimming pools in their backyard. Yeah, I honestly wish I lived in a house. I mean, I know I did at one time, but 
not anymore. I grew up in an apartment building. Maybe when I get my own, I don't know if I talked about this or not, but maybe when I get my own place, eventually, then maybe I can disclose my closest intersection to where I grew up. But I can't do that now because it's not safe. And hopefully nobody figured out where I live yet. So yes, this video is being prolonged because I just can't resist. Okay, now there's a fence. Behind that fence doesn't really look like private property. I feel like that fence is there for nothing because I don't see any houses there. I mean, I do see some stuff over there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna go deep down. Not to mention, I'm getting hungry. Maybe after I, I know there's a Starbucks, I think on Lawrence maybe. Yeah, I think there's a Starbucks somewhere on Lawrence and Victoria Park. And I was thinking of getting myself a grilled cheese. Thing is though, uh, with, with regards to that, the more, the more you spend, the more stars you're gonna get. And I'm, I've also, I'm also doing a challenge because I also got to order myself a Frappuccino because I have to order a Frappuccino like two, three days in a row in order to, to collect extra bonus stars. Now, the way the bonus stars work is that when you have a certain amount of stars, you get to redeem for a free hot drink or a free Frappuccino. And if you get 400 stars, then you get to, then you can get a free merchandise. Now, I'm not really interested in any Starbucks merchandise, despite that I am a Starbucks fan. But uh, also, when you use 25 bonus stars to customize your drinks, it doesn't mean it's free, okay? You still have to pay for it, but it usually, char it usually charges you extra money to customize your drinks. So when you use 25 bonus stars, it kind of cuts some costs off. Like, it cuts off some costs, so you don't have to pay as much as you would without it. Okay, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for street signs, because I know East York eventually turns into North York. i got to remember, I still have to remember the name. Well, it may be a little bit cooler for the past few days, especially today, but it's supposed to get hot this week. Because next, because on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, three days in a row, we're expected to get to uh, the 30 degree weather is supposed to make a comeback. And the thing is though, we haven't had any 30 degree days this month, but we will on the first week of September. And the thing, the odd thing is though, we have not had any 30 degree days in September since 2019. So this year is kind of awkward. I don't know, I find 2023 has been an odd year for me, but on the bright side, I am going back to college and I'm taking a different program this year and hopefully I, I ha I'll have the ability to stay focused and try to prioritize transit fanning and walking videos a, a little bit less. Because in college, either you're product if you can't be productive, you're not going to do well. That's just how it is. It's very hard to do well in college if you don't stay focused or if you spend too much time procrastinating. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll, I'll keep in mind to take it more seriously this year. So 
I may not be doing as much filming. Well, mind you, I don't do vlogs every single day anyways, but when I get into college, I may do it a little bit less often. And maybe when I have time, maybe when all my homework is done, and maybe when all is settled, then I can do vlogs. But I think what's gonna happen is until, because here's what happened last year. A lot of times I make, I make videos and then I know I have to do my homework, I know I have to study, but instead I end up watching YouTube or listening to Spotify. But instead, yeah, but yeah, that's what I obviously do instead when I know I should be studying, when I know I should be doing my homework, and then I go out, make vlogs, and I say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get home, do some studying, and do some work. And obviously I didn't do it, so it's obviously a waste of time right it's just a waste of it's a waste of time and it's a waste of free time too because then a lot of my time and energy gets taken because you know procrastinating can take up too much of your time and energy so i will make a commitment not to go out and make vlogs until all of my homework is done and all my studying is done. And then afterwards, then I will do it. Otherwise I won't say anything, but you know, I may post videos on YouTube less frequently now because obviously you know why, you know, going back to school, so. But yeah, I am taking a, and also not only that, my program from last year was a little bit too hard. I mean, college is not supposed to be easy technically. Oh, there's a Nova bus over there, Nova diesel. But, you know, some programs can be manageable, some cannot. Last year, I ended up taking a program that was very, very hard for me to grasp. Because, you know, some things may be easy to grasp, some things not so much. I think anything to do with technology can be hard, very hard to grasp. But I'm not going to disclose which programs I'm taking because that's a little personal. But I am going to the same college that I went to last year, Humber. Yep, that's my sole college I go to. It's Humber College. Not Seneca, not Centennial, not George Brown, strictly Humber. And that reminds me of something. Olivia Chow the other day has been talking about increasing some TTC service starting on the first week of September because a lot of students needed to go to school. I mean, a lot of, there are also a lot of college and university students who, well, also known as post-secondary, who drive, but I don't drive. So, you know, since I can't, since I don't drive, I gotta take public transit I'm, all, I'm a little surprised that there are no GO buses that go to Humber College. I know there's a GO bus that goes to U of T, but there are no there are no GO buses that go to Humber College. But aside from that, you aside from TTC, you've got My Way, Grab to Transit, YRT, and you can easily get to Wet and Wild from Humber College as well. Because there's also there's a bus that goes like, I mean, it runs past Wet and Wild, but it's easier to easy to get there from from Humber. But that's actually a good thing because a lot of times they they've been talking about cutting service, which is really annoying, but I think Olivia Chow understands that a lot of students need it to get to school, so they gotta increase the service. And also there's not only that, but there's high school students, then there's parents who are taking their elementary kids to school. Now, I went to a... I went to a school from JK to 08, which is not too far from my home. So, I... Well, mind you, though, when I was in grade 8, I would... A lot of times, I would only... I would take the 48 bus, but I'd only taken a few stops.
But yeah, that's about it. I mean, usually I'd, I'd end up walking to school, so, and it's, it only takes me like 10 to 15 minutes, so it's not that long. But I know there's elementary students who end up, like, you know, sub during the school year, you'll see parents on the bus, on the buses or on the subways with their, with their children, taking them to school, dropping them off. I actually used to take the school bus to school over the years. It's kind of awkward because it's not, because it's not that far. Because school buses are, mo are more ideal for students who go to a school that's like, that is not really within walking distance. But, you know, I, I, I went to a school within walking distance, so I ended up taking the school bus. So it's kind of a waste of time, but I did do it anyways. But obviously there was a lot of children who lived in my apartment building who would go to my school. There's not so much left though, but I know over the years there were lots. By the way, is this, okay, this is Dawes Road, so I'm still in East York. I actually made my walking video here back in the winter. Actually, this is where I came out, but yeah, I think, but back in the winter I would have, I ended right, I, I think I ended it right where the no frills is. But obviously the way it worked is that the school bus would like go to the other houses, pick up the kids, and then it would make a few stops, pick up the kids, then it would go all the way to school. So, but you know, these days are forever gone. I don't really miss those days to be honest. I, I did not, I wouldn't say I enjoyed riding the school bus, but, because I always felt antisocial. But, um, I mean, it can be pretty good, but I didn't ride it at all in grade eight. That was like the only year I never, I never rode the school bus to or from school. Because my parents thought that in grade eight, I'd be too old for it. You gotta save some seat for little kids. So here we've got some small businesses. Then we're coming up to St. Clair, St. Clair Avenue East. Well, I guess Olivia Chow is not that bad anyways. If she talks about increasing services for the new school year, then that's a good sign. Some people were worried about Olivia Chow, the choices she might make. Because obviously, John Tory, John Tory is not our mayor anymore. Oh, well, there's a McDonald's over there and it has a play place there too. Yeah, there are not many locations with play places, but I did used to enjoy it as a kid. Here comes the 24 bus. I'm, I mean, you guys may think that I would film a ride on the 24 Victoria Park bus, but that's not gonna happen because it's a Nova bus. I'm not filming any Nova routes anymore. Even though I have many times, I find that the only I find that I'm filming Nova bus rides more than any others. So I guess I gotta keep going a little bit farther up. Part of the reason why I did a walking video on Dawes Road the other day is because that's where my dad used to live. He used to live on a street called, yeah, he used to live on Dawes Road. And then we've got some more small businesses here. 
Okay, I, I have a feeling it might rain. Anytime you see those dark clouds, it looks like it might rain. So, as we all know, this is the final week of summer vacation. Next week, we're back to school. The new school year starts. Yeah, I know, we, are, we all know that, obviously. So, weather? Yeah, I guess you gotta keep going. I'm still in East York. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I, I saw it somewhere, I saw that the TTC is increasing the it's either the service or the frequency percentage, but they're aiming to increase services or their proposal budget or whatever towards 93% starting next month. And then in November, they'll increase it to 99%, which is almost but not quite pre-pandemic levels. And then in the south end, they're doing some streetcar changes with the 501, it's very, 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 very hard for me to memorize everything. I mean, no matter how many times I keep reading about it, it never sticks to my head. Like the 501 bus, I mean, 501 streetcar, 501L, is supposed to end, I think, at Woodbine Loop, but it's gonna be extended past that. That's obviously the general. But anytime I see, oh, it's gonna be extended towards towards this, then towards Victoria Park Avenue or whatever, or then Bass Woodbine, Woodbine Beach, or then, then you look at all those other service changes, it just makes my head spin, right? Because when you're trying to memorize everything at once, it's so mind boggling. trying to be a professional YouTuber, but that's obviously not going to happen. Oh, by the way, uh, I noticed that I'm already past 400 subs. So thank you for over 400 subs. And I did say this on my community post, but uh, that's obviously a milestone because I reached three, I reached uh, 300 subs in March. I actually noticed that in during my trip to Miami, or it might have been like the day before Miami, because I. But I do remember in Miami I was at I was at 300 subs, and then eight, how many months ago? April, May, June, July, August. Five months later, I'm at 400 subs. So thank you for the support, and let's keep it going. Okay, I'm probably gonna end the video at Eglinton because I forgot that St. Clair comes first, then St. Clair is kind of far from Eglinton, and then Eglinton is far from Lawrence, so there's no way I'm gonna walk all the way towards Lawrence from here. Who knows, maybe I'll just get on a bus. But I know there's a Starbucks somewhere around there, but I do plan to end my video at the end, or maybe just past the East York Borough or the East York Boundary.
Okay, so maybe I should keep my head up and keep looking for street signs. So we're now approaching Bassett Avenue. And then just east of here is the Clearly neighborhood. Actually, it's Yardley Avenue, but it turns into Bassell or Bassett. This is one of the streets that turn into another. Oh, there's a barbershop there. You can always tell by that symbol. That house actually looks abandoned, sort of. But these houses look great. They must be new. You can also tell by the the driveway and the pathways. Or I mean the sidewalk, obviously. Or side steps, I should say. I'm a you could definitely consider me a 21st century lover because that's who I am. Now we've got some, these homes around here are mostly single level plus a basement, which is just like my old house, except my old house was on a hill. There's a willow tree just behind that house. I find that willow trees are one of my favorites. I mean, I would say palm trees are my favorites, but we don't have palm trees here. But I think my second favorite, well, I mean, I guess palm trees are my favorite, but I think my second favorite are willow trees. Amsterdam Avenue. Same name as the city in Netherlands, which is the capital. I would love, yeah, I would love to go to Amsterdam one day. There's a lot of canals over there because the Netherlands is below sea level. And that's actually why they call it the Netherlands, because nether means low. So it'll be lowlands. But they have a canal so that they can prevent flooding. Okay, now we're at Holland Avenue. So maybe I'll end my video just over there on the other side. And I'm now approaching the North York Borough. All right, so thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned, everyone. Actually, maybe we'll watch this bus go and then I'll end the video. Hold on. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit. Mind you though, when you're recording with a phone, you can't zoom in very much. You can only zoom in until 3x. You actually can zoom in more when you're doing a live stream. I did do a live stream outside, but that was only like once. All right, take care, guys. Bye.